They've been called lollipops, the 5'8", Kenny. The official name is OH-58D, Kiowa Warrior Armed Reconnaissance Helicopter. Troops in combat call them a soldier's best friend when they're in trouble. We are easy to maintain. Our operational readiness rate is high, so we can provide those ground forces a lot of time in the air above them or near their location. Chief Warrant Officer David Smith says missions like this one are a good example of what the Kiowa can do. The mission that we bring is to the ground forces. Under the current plan, there will be a void. The OH-58 has been part of Army aviation inventory since the late 60s. But now, more than 40 years later, Kiowas are on their way out, part of an announced phased elimination. It's a sort of a, a bittersweet thing, but everything's got to come to an end. And, uh, I guess this is a good way to end them. Crew Chief Sergeant Jared Freeman has been maintaining Kiowas for nine years, a job, he says, that gets him some unexpected attention every now and then. They ask me what I do, tell them to work on 58s, and they almost break down in tears and hug my neck because how much these aircraft have helped them. For the Kiowa, their last stamp on military history is Operation Enduring Freedom, and like the combat mission, the end is here. Gil McCabe, Afghanistan.